Hey, what's up, comic book culture? It's your boy C B M in the house and the place to be. And welcome back to my comic book channel, Indie Key Comics and Collectibles, where we collect, review, invest in anything and everything comic book related. And today, I've got a quick, short little video for you. I went out to the flea markets and to garage sales, hunting for comic books, and I had no luck whatsoever. But I did find some trading cards. I found some Back to the Future trading cards. I found some Marvel trading cards. I found some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards. Today, we're going to open up these trading cards and let's see what's in that pack. I'm really excited about this. Lately, I've been really into trading cards. And what got me back into trading cards was the Marvel trading cards. And then from there, I've just been keeping my eye out for any other trading cards that I might come across. And I'm a real big fan of Back to the Future and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I figured, let me pick up a pack and see what's in these cards. So I don't know if these are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards based off any of the movies. Or if this is a pack of trading cards based off of the cartoons. Let's see. So without further delay, let's talk trading cards and let's talk Ninja Turtles. Okay, before I open up this pack, let's put on our... Surgical gloves. Okay, so here are the trading cards. One more time. Let's take a look at that package. Pretty cool. Pretty nostalgic. Pretty retro. And I'm going to be real careful as I'm opening it. But there's really no need to be extra super careful. This pack is so old that the glue that was holding this pack together just came undone. Here it is. Give us a 25-year-old piece of chewing gum. If this video hits a thousand likes, I will chew on this chewing gum. No, I won't. I'll probably have like a, an allergic reaction to it and have to be rushed to the emergency room. Okay, I'm going to move the camera closer so we can take a closer look at these badass cards. Okay, so let's take a look at these cards. So it does seem like it's based off of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoons, as you can see right here from the first card. And it seems like this is the second series by Topps. The pack was originally 25 cents, and I believe the year it came out was 1989. So here's card number one with Leonardo on it. This card was the first card on the top of the pack and unfortunately it got ruined by the 25 year old piece of chewing gum I don't know if you can see it on camera but right here on the top of the card it left like some kind of sticky residue from the gum so that card is completely ruined let's see what the back looks oh that sucks because it was a puzzle card and it looks like it was a piece like if you put eight other cards together it forms like a mini little poster like a little picture. So that sucks. I'm going to have to replace this card. Especially if I want to form that mini poster. There's one final look at that card. It was card number four. And the next card up is Return of the Fly. And it is, of course, none other than Baxter Stockman. He was always one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite villains, because he reminded me of that um, movie, The Fly. Like, he was pretty much the cartoon version of that character from the movie. Really cool looking. Looked just like him, I thought, as a kid. I always thought he was pretty creepy and scary looking, and how scary that would be if you were turned into a humanoid fly. Here's one final look at that card. It's a card of Baxter Stockman. It's called Return of the Fly. That was card 124. Here is card 130. It's called Heading for the Hideout. And it's got a little scene with all the Ninja Turtles in it. Donatello, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael. And then let's take a look at the back of this card. It's nothing special. They all look the same in the back. Again, that was heading for the hideout. Here's another, um, it's card 159. Another card of Baxter Stockman. Doing some scientific experiments, I'm sure. 
name of the card is Not So Fast Fly. It's card 159. Really excited and happy to have these cards. And I'm really getting back into the trading card scene big time. And I think I started like a whole new addiction. Because like now anywhere I go, I'm just looking out for trading cards. Especially if it's something nostalgic and retro. It's almost like I have to pick it up. So let's get to the next card. Here's card 89. Again, it's got all the terms on the front. It's called Our Story Opens. It is card 89. Wasn't that many cards in this pack. But um, the reason why I bought this pack is because when I was out there hitting up flea markets and garage sales, when I saw the pack of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle trading cards, I was like, well, let me look them up on eBay real quick, see if they have any value. I saw a Master Shredder card, PSA graded 10, and it was going for $841. Get this pack that's never been opened. The cards should be in perfect condition. They should be perfect tens. I'll be real careful when I open them up. And hopefully, since it's a pack of cards that's never been opened, never been touched by human hands, I'll get a 10 out of one of these cards. And you never know. Maybe I can flip it for $841. Ooh, and the last card. Because there was only six cards in this set. And this one is a beauty. It's perfectly censored. The colors are really bright and popping and vibrant. The corners are really sharp. The back of the card, everything is perfectly censored also. And it is card 112. It's called Defeating the Dragon. And it has Yosagi Jimbo on the front of the card. After I'm done ranting on about how much I love these cards and how excited I am to finally have a pack of Ninja Turtle trading cards, I'll give you guys a closer look at the cards one final last time. But this card, I'm definitely going to send out for grading. A, because it's a real famous and popular character that has his own ongoing comic book series and his own TV series. I believe it was on Netflix, I want to say. I still haven't checked it out. It's animated. I want to get to it. But yeah, that's all the cards. There was only six in the set. That was card 112 and it was the final card. But I'm really glad to get something that to me stood out as worth grading. Because like I said, he's a real famous and popular character that a lot of people love. He's definitely a fan favorite. And I'm definitely going to send that card in to either, either to CGC or PSA. And hope that I can score that perfect 10. And believe me, if I can get a CGC or PSA 10 and it's worth some insane amount of money, like four to $800, believe me, this will be the first thing I flip. Because as much as I love these cards, and believe me, I do love them, I do plan on collecting them and completing the set, I could always easily replace this card. And I'm sure I'm going to run into more Usagi Jimbo cards. So I am really interested in grading these cards. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Should I go with CGC for grading cards? Or should I go with the traditional PSA? Please, I need your help with this trading card community. But um, yeah, I'm real happy and excited to finally have these in my collection. They most likely started a whole new addiction. And I'm probably going to try to complete the set. Like I said, I'm definitely going to try to complete the set. And I believe there was 132 cards in the set. So I'm going to definitely be hitting up that flea market again and probably just buy the whole box at once instead of pack by pack. But 132 cards, that's not too bad. And hopefully there's enough packs in that box to make two sets. One that I can send out for grading and one that I can keep for the PC, the personal collection. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I'm going to give you guys a closer look at the cards for one final time. Okay, so let's take that final and closer look at these trading cards before I end this video. And here's that Yosagi Ojimbo card that I'm excited about getting graded. Looks really good. Looks perfect. The corners are really sharp. It's centered. The colors are really bright and popping and vibrant. It's never been touched by human hands. Also love this card. I may also send one of these Baxter Stockman cards off to get graded. Here's that Ninja Turtle card with all four turtles on the front of the card. This is the Baxter Stockman card that I want to get graded. I just love that one. 
It also looks like it can grade a CGC or PSA 10. It is in perfect shape. Again, the black is really dark. The colors are really bright, popping, and vibrant. The corners look really sharp on all of these cards. I mean, you got to think, I just opened up this pack. They haven't been touched by human hands ever. Is another really cool card with all the turtles on it. Maybe that one deserves some sort of grading too because it's got all the turtles in one shot. And here is the final card, card number four with Leonardo on it. This was the card that was sitting on the top of the deck. And as you can see, it is heavily damaged by the residue that the gum left. I'm definitely going to have to replace that card. This card is definitely not worth grading at all. No need to even think about it. And what sucks is, like I said before, it was a puzzle piece. So it formed some kind of picture after you collected the other pieces that went to it. That sucks. But yeah, I will be replacing this card. And I'm probably going to get this card and the Yosagi Jimbo card sent out for either CGC grading or PSA because I'm just now getting into grading trading cards so please let me know and this is the end to my first video where I was opening up trading card packs if you like what you've seen on the channel thus far please let me know with a like a subscribe leave a comment down below and smash that notification button 